Thank you very much, Tamsin. Good evening. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name's Dominic Frisby, and this is Headliners, the show in which comedians look at the most interesting, the most important, the most amusing and the most irritating stories from tomorrow's papers, a whole night in advance. Who reads the papers anymore, you might say? Well, people do, politicians do, and we do, so that you don't have to. And before I introduce tonight's comedians, we start with a rundown of tomorrow's headlines. And first up is the mail which has Tories plan B mutiny. But baby girl gives Boris something to celebrate. Uh, on to the Telegraph. How good is it to see Boris Johnson's flat back in the news? The Telegraph has Lord Gite on the brink of quitting over PM's flat. It's always the advisers, the monkeys that get the chop, never the organ grinder. The Independent has Sienna Miller reveals living nightmare brought on by phone hacking scandal. Sienna Miller looking like a young Wendy Richards in that photo. And also calls for fresh probe into PM's flat refurbishment. The Guardian has Boris flat story two. Johnson accused of misleading watchdog over flat redecoration. Johnson misleading. There's also a picture of the very photogenic Sienna Miller. The FT has, and deep breath here, Treasury rebuff business chiefs appeal for extra aid during curbs. Who writes the headlines for the FT? They are incomprehensible day after day. And then lower down, we have SEC's Gensler signals tighter oversight of SPACs to put stop on plain old hype. There is another one. And in the corner, there's a little Bitcoin story as Bitcoin miners sidestep China ban as output soars. The network is stronger than ever. Bitcoin has more than survived the China ban. And the story proved to be FUD, I'm delighted to say. The Metro has mums the word. We'll have more on that in a moment. But that's the PM getting out of the firing line. The Times has poll blow for Tories as trust in Johnson falls, I'm not surprised, along with a picture of a haughty-looking camel and a vicar who were starring in the Christmas Eve service at Salisbury Cathedral. The Eye has Tory leader contenders circle as PM in peril. Um, the expression flies around you-know-what springs to mind. The Sun has... WFP, how to get round new COVID rules, working from pub, lol. The star has a picture of Julie Andrews with Boris Johnson's head and the headline, the, the tills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> this is the story that you don't have to wear masks in shops if you're singing. Whoever writes the headlines for the star should get the gig at the FT.